Hello guys, welcome back. This is Thoran here. This is the Daily Grind and this is DC Legends. And I'm starting today a new series of videos because I'm reading on the forums a lot of questions about starting out and people saying I'm level whatever and I want an alliance and stuff like that. Um, so I'm starting a new series dealing specifically with starting out in the game uh, because some people don't believe me that um, certain uh, what's the um, certain benchmarks in the game are easily attainable and that the game is very very easy for new players um, this will be my sixth time starting out in the game and after playing with a low level Green Lantern uh, I stand by my decision of calling him a superb newbie friendly character Flash is also very newbie friendly on until you get uh, better speedsters in some way uh, but now both are again back to being completely farmable or farmable only from the nodes so you have to clear until chapter 4 of the story mode in order to get your flash uh, shards and as such I'm starting this series for any players that are starting out now that Jordan and Flash are again uh, relegated to being exclusively obtainable through the farm um, I'm saving you the time you lose when you are starting out. Um, the game starts a tutorial that lasts the four nodes of chapter one of a story mode. And as such, as you can see, when you start uh, the game for the first time ever, you get a special offer for spending money. Uh, trust me. Uh, even if you start three months from now or six months down the line the starter pack is usually very very crappy it used to be Matt Jester when when Harley Quinn Matt Jester was real bad and the Joker when the Joker clown prince of crime was very very good before his rework but now this is crap and if you see that in MX55 that's because I live in Mexico and even though the game is in English for me uh, because I forced the, the language on the pack uh, it gives me the offers in my country's currency uh, so don't spend money on this there are better ways if you want to spend money there are better ways than this and this uh, has been open for like 15 minutes for me I just went to upload some videos to my other channel make a, a space in my storage and I have come back to uh, show you what it's like to start the game when you are a complete newbie that you don't know anything about the game first out uh, we are going to reach around level 23 to 25 just before the reset uh, in preparation for the start of May later today in around two hours more or less uh, just so we get the red alerts unlocked PvP unlocked um, uh, the void collector the void scanner everything is going to be unlocked after we finish this video will be around an hour and a half long but it's exclusively gameplay starting now so I'm at this point in the campaign where I've already gotten oh a sale for Aquaman where I've already gotten uh, where are my heroes um, Batman they give you uh, uh, part of the tutorial is getting uh, Green Arrow Emerald Archer and Batman Cape Crusader so if you are a guy that started recently 
this month of May, Batman Cape Crusader is going to be the PvP board clear and you are more likely than not going to end up with at least a legendary one Batman Cape Crusader for free. So right now I have him unlocked, that's part of the storyline. Uh, no, I don't want to answer your sword being bizarre realm. So we go back to the campaign. As you can see, it's only been two notes. And I'm going to unlock the flash. So I finish my team. And um, this is all very simple. The first two story notes the first two story chapters in campaign are very very easy they are complete newbie uh, stages where you learn the in and outs of the game and this is why Jordan is now a major newbie friendly character because he now gives shield every time he attacks with his basic and yes, I will strongly recommend to any new player who is less than two months old in the game to farm as many Green Lantern shards as they are able to, even if he ends up being the um, Heroic Challenge in June. Uh, because he is very very newbie friendly okay so now I unlock the sense collector and I have to start amassing money for my needs if you see I have some emails that's because the actual account is very very old and for some reason the game keeps track of when your email was created so you might possibly end up with a uh, some compensation done for you i've even gotten uh, extra energy for the avarice siege you might not get this but because my my account was very old uh, something from last year 500 essence gems and 100 energy. I don't remember what was the problem back then. This is July 2018 and something from September that's extra energy. So I'm gonna save that for last. I'm not going to use it right now because it will be a waste. I'm gonna be leveling up so much that uh, I don't really I don't really need that energy and I can't complete uh, anything right now so I will just have to keep playing until until I unlock at least the daily events to get some rings and fortunately after the reset, you can even play this on novel when you start out. There's, all of your characters are going to have only two skills, so... Uh, they will attack as much as possible and the levels are very, very easy. So I might as well prepare you um, as a newbie. Uh, un unlike many newer games or some older games of the age, uh, you didn't have to actually three-star the stages before you were able to play on all of this has been from the day one. So, if you are just starting out, uh, don't worry too much about stuff in this game the first two levels are very very easy the story mode well it's not really difficult as you can see you're going to be leveling up like crazy so you don't have to manage energy just now and 
uh, this is also why you have to complete your missions every day because you're going to start getting um, first you unlock Sinestro and then you start getting Superman shards every time you finish all the missions on chapter 1 normal and all the missions heroic you start getting uh, Superman shards and after you finish the whole game you're going to end up with a rank 4 Superman which is a very nice addition to your roster if you manage to do that so we now go into chapter 2 to try to unlock um, after you finish a stage 2 of the story mode you will have hired gun deadshot who is now going to be alongside Hal Jordan one of your very first easy to get easy to farm and very powerful leaders in the game so you can consider that when you start playing and don't fall for the Sinestro trap Sinestro looks very very powerful when you start out because he has a very decent basic attack but he is not really a good character if you can get his shards get them but refrain from upgrading anything on Sinestro until he gets a rework Sinestro is just bad he is one of, of the big four characters in the game that are basically useless no matter in what team you slot them and as a newbie you're just not going to have the characters needed for Sinestro to be somewhat decent so don't fall for this trap. Sinestro looks super powerful when you first get him. He's able to one-shot enemies. He has an AOE that resets itself whenever he gets killed. Uh, but, but he's real bad. I, I've been playing for almost three years and believe me, I have been trying to make him work. And he's just, he's just terrible. Uh, so, out of the worst characters in the game, he is the least terrible. And those would be <laughs> Superboy, Blue Beetle, uh, uh, Sinestro, and the fourth one gets tossed around. Uh, it changes depending on who you ask. Uh, but my personal worst character from the big four okay now i have to upgrade the characters so you have to level up um i don't know giganta maybe but just maybe just maybe um don't cash your daily missions just yet even if you finish them Oh, something happened. And the game froze because I wasn't supposed to do our complete daily missions. Okay, campaign missions. And let's cash my Superman shards. Alright, I have to complete 10 battles. So now I have to level up people so I'm gonna go with flash they have to be level 3 so just be careful how much agent you allot for every character because right now uh, 2 and level 3 how Jordan just don't use anything on Sinestro right now. You're eventually going to have to level him up because you need a villain for the rings. And also let's leave Batman behind and just level Satana. Also don't fall in love with Satana. She's not completely useless, but you need high legendary and some gear to make her work. 
and now let's go back to the missions just complete every mission until you are no longer able to advance that's what you have to do as a newbie and for for the time being forget about the dailies uh, and the legendary missions you have to reach a certain account level before you are able to finish this now speaking about the game the game divides the characters into three main teams physical colored red and featuring a fist as the symbol these are characters that rely on their gods their physical skills and some minor gadgets or uh, weapons so the characters you're going to find here for the most part are going to be uh, characters in the comics that don't have special powers beyond their martial arts training or some mechanic addition that you can consider part of their own innate ability so batman green arrow arsenal um uh, mostly the bat family all the villains scarecrow who uses chemicals but goes hand to hand the joker harley queen stuff like that those are the characters you're going to see in the physical side of things the next big group and features some of the best characters in the game because most of them are good support and high heavy hitters it's the energy guys in the energy side color green and they have a special symbol um, you will find characters with the meta gene that awaken their powers through some science science related accident you are going to find most of all the aliens in DC Comics and you are going to find characters that use technological equipment that grants them some sort of superpower or they generate some sort of energy so that's why you see uh, what could be interpreted as an atom bomb atom bomb not bomb colored green so here you find all of the green lanterns the yellow lanterns um, larflies the orange lantern but for some reason atrocitus was made a physical he should be energy but he is physical in this game uh, you're going to find uh, survival, survival suit Lex Luthor, which I used to call Sexy Lexi before he uh, became almost irrelevant in everything. Uh, Superman, Starfire, all of the aliens. That's what you're going to find here. Most of them revolve ab around using some sort of shield, like Jordan, or most of the Green Lanterns have some way of generating shields so it's not exclusive to the energy side of the game and last but not least the blue team which is considered or called mystical in origin inside of the game and here you will find any character that doubles in the occult it's from another dimension has some magic uh, based powers or just has to be uh, in that camp because it wouldn't make sense to put them in physical or energy here in the mystical um, side of the game you find characters like satana who is magic based uh, all versions of Wonder Woman are also considered mystical, even though she has superpowers, because uh, her origin involves the gods from ancient Greece. Um, for some reason, White Lantern Sinestro is also made a mystical. Doctor Fate, um, Etrigan, Enchantress, guys like that, and, and Blue Beetle 
also for some reason ended up into the mystical side of the game. I don't know why, don't worry too much about three starring the normal chapters unless it is um, the last node and I'm going to explain to you why in a second. So now I have to upgrade my characters again and I'm going to continue with this team. When leveling up your characters, try to match the XP agent you are using with the color of the character because you get a nice bonus to the experience given and you will be using less of the agents to level up your characters. So if you're leveling up a physical character, use red XP agent unless you have no other option. If you're leveling up an energy character, you use green XP agent and if you are leveling up a mystical character use blue XP agent. XP agent is acquired through playing the game normal story mode and heroic story mode but also during the special material events and is somehow sometimes sorry is sometimes awarded when you perform heroic challenges the monthly event uh, and the special assault kind of events. This is going to be your bottleneck very, very quickly. Not money, not gold, not material for gears. XP agent, once you reach a certain point in the game, it's going to be your bottleneck because you're going to need, sorry, loads, and I mean loads of XP agent. The game, if you scroll the possible max rewards, you see that you start getting, uh, you can get any of these prices at random. The only one you always get is the XP and the game awards you one experience point per energy point spent. So if you play a 10 energy, uh, a 10 energy node, you are going to be awarded 10 points of experience. Also, this is not a problem. You're going to level up faster than you are able uh, to spend the energy during your first 30 levels. So you could theoretically, if you started spending gold to buy extra energy, once you cannot uh, um, get enough experience to reach the next level with just the energy you have allotted, you could theoretically or hypothetically get to level 40 within one day. Keep this in mind. So don't rush too much in the beginning. Just play so you can get your shards. We are trying to unlock Deathstroke because I want, uh, when you unlock Deathstroke in this game, you're gonna get him at rank three. So he is going to be your first rank three character. So let's keep playing. Every, play everything in order in the beginning until you can no longer get past a stage without upgrading your gear or upgrading your skills. Right now, don't worry about green rings, don't worry about, about blue rings, don't worry about the XP agent just now. You will have plenty of time to worry about stuff like that. Uh, and don't rely too much on Satana at this point in the game. She is going to be very useful real soon for Red Alert, but she needs to have her gear to level 4 before she is useful for something besides dying. Also because I'm starting out today and I didn't play with this account on the Marvel Family event, where you got Marvel Jr. and Mary Marvel. I'm going to be short on blues, so we have to start farming for other blue characters. Namely, it's going to be Cheetah and Princess of Themyscira. I'm also going to be missing uh, three shards of Princess of Themyscira because I'm playing at the end of the month and just before the reset.
but let's not worry about that just yet. Now, where were we? Um, yes, I already explained to you the team's division, physical, energy and mystical. Well, the next thing you have to keep in mind is that um, the team that your character is part of has what is called affinity advantage over another one of the teams and you can check that real quick when you're playing the game let's finish loading this you can read that when you want uh, if you notice on the upper right side of the screen there is a diagram above the sign that reads wave 1-3 uh, wave means the lines of enemies that you have to defeat before you finish the level. Now we, that we are reaching uh, the easiest difficult part of the game, uh, you have to keep defeating increasing waves of opponents. Uh, so now instead of just two waves, I have to defeat three waves of opponents. So you have to start planning ahead and burning some, um, some rounds to prepare like give everybody shields and whatnot but okay let's go back to affinity on the upper right side of the screen there is a diagram that indicates who has the advantage over who for example now it's satana turn and satana is a mystical character there are two energy enemies on the field the manhunters satana being a blue or mystical character has neutral affinity versus blue characters and has an advantage over green characters or energy blue characters do extra damage to the team they have advantage on uh, so she will do extra damage to green enemies and green enemies will do reduced damage on satana and the higher you go in levels and the higher you go in gear, this difference is much more evident. Also, the game reminds you um, of this advantage or disadvantage with symbols above the enemy's heads. So now that it's Flash turn, Flash being an energy uh, character from the energy team or green team, however you want to to call them you will see this nomenclature being in 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 distinct in the forums you will uh, they will be called green characters or energy characters blue characters or mystical characters or red characters or physical characters it's interchangeable uh, for the sake of simplicity and speed i'm going to start calling them by their colors so now Flash is a green character and he has neutral affinity on green characters but has a disadvantage on blues and the game indicates this the arrows above the enemy's heads are gray if the affinity is neutral red if there's a disadvantage and green if you will do more damage or have an advantage so in this case when you are facing enemies that you have uh, a disadvantage on affinity try to avoid attacking them because it will be a waste of a turn so in this case flash is green there's a blue enemy on the field so I will instead attack one of the greens so his damage is unchanged and now that it is uh, green arrows turn he is a red character and as such he has advantage over blues and as you can see in the diagram upper right corner of the screen it's indicated as such that he uh, makes those more damage over blue characters and if you notice on the 
a zombie lantern over there there's a green arrow and the energy characters the green characters the green enemies on their side have red arrows over them that means that i will do even less damage to them by the way green arrow at low gear sucks so uh, don't worry too much about that green arrow is fantastic when you gear him up but he needs at least gear 9 before you start noticing any change and now that that's, that's explained let's keep this on auto um, outside of these easy chapters I wouldn't recommend to you using the auto play when it's the first time you are facing a new chapter why because the computer tends to use skills regardless of their situation the, the artificial intelligence in this game is very dumb and uh, it will try to keep uh, affinity advantage on the enemy but also will waste turns buffing shielding healing even if it's unnecessary so most of the time the computer will get you killed so only leave the autoplay to stages that you know oh, you damn it um, keep it to stages that you know that you will have no trouble completing or if you feel that you have complete advantage over the enemy team uh, let's hope that this fight counts God, for the people that tell me that the game plays fine on their, uh, on their device it might be true but everybody at all levels has these problems and I think that didn't count so let's keep going the point of the game when you start out is to build a power base good enough that you are able to finish at least node 4 of the material events and we'll see that in the next video after after we finish this and reset happens for today and building a team that is capable of finishing red alerts every day without fail um, considering the out of sync issues your team must be able to finish uh, red alerts every day so you will need at least eight characters in the beginning uh, just to have a safe uh, safe uh, plan a uh, fallback plan fallback plan sorry uh, <clears throat> uh, in case that you run into one of these out of sync issues they are real they will happen to you they are infuriating and seemingly there is no way to uh, keep, them, keep them from happening so bear that in mind it's going to happen to you it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when but it will happen to you so let's leave the computer here running for a second Um, Another level up. 
I'm telling you, leveling up is so easy when you start out. I've been playing less than 20 effective minutes and I'm already level 7. And I have unlocked the Void Scanner. What is the Void Scanner? Well, um, do you see many other games where there is some thing that you can um, roll or draw from for free every day? The Void Scanner is DC Legends version of the roulette. You get one free throw every day and the feature character will change every day. The prices will also change every day. Anything you get from here is awesome. Just keep this in mind. The computer is uh, um, has a predilection to give you the useless quote-unquote prices. When you're a newbie, anything you get from here is useful. Uh, this is only a chore to do when you are high level because 10,000 credits or 10,000 essence is not going to really make or break your bank. But you can get free gold, you can get free shards, and the featured character changes every day. Uh, and you sometimes will be able to get this power battery charge that's a free roll of the void scanner if you ever get that don't roll again anyways uh, save them up you get five for free when you log in every day so save them until you have 20 or 30 uh, stored charges or you see a character that you really want to roll for, like um, some of the rares have been included in the Void Scanner now nowadays. So if you see, a, for example, a Black Adam, if you see some Firestorm, if you see some uh, Black Canary, the characters that you cannot actually farm reliably and you have several charges stored, go for it. Sometimes it pays off. But anyways, let's keep playing. We have to finish. Uh, now I need level 5 to continue, but I have already unlocked Hired Gun Deadshot. So let's go with him. He's going to be your first rank 3 character. Uh, when the game launched, he wasn't farmable at all so level five yes don't go ham on the leveling up go as the game tells you so if you need rank five characters level five characters I'm sorry stay at five remember you have to play until you are no longer capable of finishing the nose and whenever possible stick the same color agent on the character you want to level up so blue on blue green on green and red on red you're going to be swimming in grey agents so, but try not to use it that, and that's also a reason why you're going to have a lot of stored green agent I mean grey agent so three more notes until we finish and I'm going to switch green arrow for dead shot because he is more powerful just from ranks alone just let this thing auto play what else is there 
Well, today is Monday, and there's a special event going on. Uh, it's called Essential Powers. And what you get from Essential Powers is the green and blue rings. Well, you get of every color, but you're going to need green and blue rings in the beginning, so that's what we center on. Uh, oh, my, my lovely neighbors. So, um, this event has a uh, restriction in that you can only use hero characters. Um, this is pretty evident for anybody who has read comics. Who are going to be on the hero side? Well, you Classic superheroes, Superman, Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, but so on and so forth. And on the villain side, you're going to have Lex Luthor, the Joker, Sinestro, Deadshot, and stuff like that. Um, this will be your first run in the restricted lists. And in the very, very beginning, like at this level, you are going to really be feeling that punch because you don't have enough villains. You have Sinestro and Deadshot to begin with. So you're going to be short on your villain side. You have to farm villains to be able to finish the event. But today is Monday and essential event happens on Mondays and repeats on Saturdays when every, every event is open for everybody. So, aside from gear, one of your first priorities is reaching a stage two, node two of the essential powers and the fearsome powers events, because that's where you're going to be farming green and blue rings for most of your newbie life. Don't worry about rage, red rings, white or black rings just yet. Also, don't buy them from the shop. It's a terrible deal for the amount of gold that is asked and the return in rings. So, just focus on that. And you're going to be you're going to need to be like level 20 before you are able to finish the fearsome events and the essential powers events for rings so make that your priority i think this is the last note for this chapter So after this, we go into heroics. Don't worry too much about efficiency just yet. Uh, you cannot be efficient before level 20 anyway. Pretty much everything you do is going to make you level. Uh, but there is a, a cutoff for when you are starting out. And that is a part of the efficiency. And this is why I have to do heroics right now after I finish this fight. Because I have to explain to you something about this game. And I'm also going to be guiding you with this new newbie account to see um, <laughs> my cats are going crazy. All right, another level up. So now I'm level eight. Tap anywhere to continue. Where's anywhere? So let's go back to the map. Uh, so right, right, right now, uh, if you're following this step by step, 
which you could, you will notice that I already have a ton of gold on the upper side of the screen and I'm about to finish this uh, so now my heroes have to be level 6 so let's do that let's do that let's do good, just that now I ran out of green energy so I'm going to use gray XP agent to level up Jordan and dead shot and where's Satana? Um, just like that oh so now the hero challenge is open well I can so I don't know why I would try to do that but now I can access the main board so the monthly event that starts in three days Faster friends to get Jay Garrick shards is going to be available for me. Yeah. No big deal. So let's see how I am on my missions. And why I told you not to uh, worry about this right now, it's because the experience you're going to get from cashing in your daily missions is going to make you level up again. So leave it there. Leave that there for the couple of minutes nothing is going to go away nothing is going to happen if you don't use that just keep in mind those rewards do not carry over after reset if you don't cash your rewards on the same day you're going to lose them so keep that in mind even if, if it's not beneficial to you or if you're going to level up and waste energy, it's preferable that you cash your rewards on the same day uh, because if not, you're going to lose that. And it's, it's quite something. See, nobody w really needed any healing and Satana still decided that she was going to waste that heal on thin air. Well, whatever. Says, don't worry too much about um, efficiency right now. You can come back and repeat after you get some gear up, some some more levels up. Uh, because there is this your characters can only level up to your account level so if you are level 20 then your characters can only be level 20 if you are level 40 then your characters can only go to level 40 but later on uh, I'm going to teach you about a pretty lame thing that we have been doing of uh, we call it parking the character and that you're going to keep leveling up your account to 60, 70, to 80, but you're going to leave your characters stationed uh, 
at a particular level because it will make your life easier. So now we finish the second story chapter and I'm going to go into heroics after cashing in my rewards. Got some extra gold and some superman shards. All right. Upgrade events until player level 15. Red alerts until player 17. PvP arena locked at level 10. And the legendary events are not available. So I have to hurry a bit. Well, um, let's go into campaign. And once you finish the normal story chapters, when you finish all the notes of a story chapter, the heroic version of that story chapter is open and you don't have to finish the one before. As you can see, I could start at uh, heroic chapter two, but I'm going to start at heroic chapter one because that's where the Hal Jordan shards are. These are more difficult than the normal uh, the, the normal mode uh, but chapter one is not that difficult so we should be able to finish this real quick now why play heroic nodes or the heroic mode of the game you do that because it's the only way outside of pvp to earn character shots. What are character shots? Well, going according to the lore, um, you pull fragments of the soul of a particular character, and once you gather enough of those fragments, you can level up this character, or you can recruit that character to your roster if you don't already have them. So in this case, it's Hal Jordan shards. You only get three free runs through these nodes every day. But you can spend gold refreshing the node so you get another three thrice. Now, the cost is increasing and it increases linearly. Your first couple of runs are going to be 25, 25, then it's 50, then it's 100, then it's uh, 150, and then it stops, I think, at 300. I have never run a, a note until I can no longer refresh, but it's a waste of gold, really. The drop rate is estimated to be one third. So, this doesn't mean that you are always going to get one shard. That means if you run a node 100 times, you are more likely than not to finish with 33 shards than you are to end with 100 shards, even though that's also a possibility. That means, um, the shards are not guaranteed and you can run a node 50 times in a, in a row without getting any drop. So I have unlocked PvP and that's it. Uh, if I wanted to run this node again, then I will have to pay 25 gold, but I'm not going to because I'm going to level up again in very in a very very short amount of time
So what, what else is there to know? Um, these notes, these heroics haven't changed in almost three years, so... Uh, the characters you can get from the heroic notes are what we call the commons. Uh, but even between the commons, there are characters that have restricted access. For example, Flash, Doctor Fate, Solomon Grundy, Star Sapphire, uh, John Stewart, Green Lantern, Hawk Girl, and Black Adam only get one node in the entire game. They are very slow characters to farm, and half of them are not what you would call very useful. For example, Hawk Girl is not very good. John Stewart has uses, but he has fallen through the cracks in the tears. Doctor Fate is usable and viable, but you need high legendary to make him work, and he requires certain compositions in order to get enabled. So, <coughs> sorry. Don't equate the fact that they are hard to get with their utility. Flash used to be considered, even though he's very, very popular right now because he got a rework and people are enjoying the rework, his utility is marginal at best. He has his uses, he's very fun to use, but his upgrade was mostly a lateral move, and from the looks of it, Jay Garrick is going to be a better version of the Flash, so you should instead focus your efforts into getting Jay Garrick to Legendary 2, Legendary 3, or above, depending on your capabilities. I'm going to show you with this account that you can um, very easily, and it's perfectly viable to get a Legendary 1 character even if you start on the same month of the release of that character. And I'm going to do Siege, and I'm going to do PvP every week with this account, just to show you that it can be done. That you don't have to spend money, that you don't have to wait months and months and months of doing nothing, saving gold until you get a sale. You can do that, but for very specific characters, like if Team Drake Red Robin ever gets a heroic challenge, you gotta hit that hard. If Wonder Girl Cassie ever gets a heroic challenge before a nerf, you have to go ham on that heroic challenge. Same for Donna Troy and it's bound to happen sooner than later that uh, John Constantine, Brainiac, and some of the other meta tunes, because Batgirl already had hers before her rework and I'm gonna level up. And this is why I told you not to bother cashing your rewards just yet, because we are going to be leveling up real fast. You haven't seen me buy in an hour. You haven't seen me buy a energy package. You haven't seen me upgrade my characters beyond what the game asks of me. They are level six. I haven't uh, used any of the rings that I have been rewarded. And I haven't really farmed for shards just yet. Because there is a plan, and this is why I'm teaching you. So, yeah. Um, don't... Also, don't equate high legendary to viability. There are characters that require legendary four before they are fully viable. So... If, for example... Uh, I'm gonna have to to farm Bane one way or another for this account. <coughs> uh, Bane is going to be, along with Deadshot, one of your pillars for PvP. Especially for a new character, 
for a new player, sorry. These are way better investments than Flash or Sutana. And I'm also going to explain to you why. Uh, my content, the content of this channel is centered and is focused on new players or players that don't want to spend money, that cannot or won't grab their wallet whenever there is a big sale and say, here, there's $300 down the drain because it's not necessary. You can do perfectly fine with your main account. All right, I'm gonna cut this video here just for pacing purposes. Uh, but I'm gonna pause it at the victory screen before uh, recording the rest. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to split this tutorial in several parts uh, because, mostly because some people don't believe me that you can reach uh, level 25 in one day without spending any money. And I really need level 15. All right, here's the victory screen. Oh, God. Well, I'm gonna pause it and then I restart the video. Uh, remember to subscribe, leave a comment or whatever. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you get an update whenever I upload new content. So, see you right back.